tea time. Welcome everybody, Solden of the Grin Brothers here, and it's time for another episode of Tea Time. Today's Tea Time I shall be reacting to a Nintendo Direct with headphones on in an attempt to avoid any echo as I've previously had with uh, recordings of these Nintendo Directs. For today's tea I have Cranberry Vanilla Delight with me, it's a herbal tea, 4 to 5 br minutes brew time is recommended, and it's from the English Tea Shop. It's an organic hibiscus herbal tea flavoured with rose hips, cocoa, vanilla and cranberries. And this direct is already beginning. Oh, and I've had it way too loud on my Wii U. I've got headphones into my Wii U gamepad to avoid the uh, echo. Oh, and this looks like to be uh, Super Mario Maker. I've uh, heard rumours there was apparently supposed to be a Super Mario Maker 2, so... Oh, yeah, there's a slope, so I've heard those weren't included last time, so... Yeah, this must be a sequel or a, you know, expanded Wii U port. We'll find out. So yeah, that's our first reveal. So hey, those rumours seem to be on point, because there was rumours suggesting Super Mario Maker 2. Not sure I'm a fan of the idea of it on the basis of, uh, yep, Super Mario Maker 2. On the basis of, uh, you know, there's no stylus or anything. Touching the Switch's, uh, screen with your finger. Ugh, I hate that idea. Oh, cool! 3D World features! I'm not going to get it because, again, I don't want to touch the screen of the Switch. So it's got no appeal to me. And I didn't end up getting it on the Wii U either, so... I have no real expectations for games at the moment. The only Switch tile that's currently got around my interest is Town. So really what I'd most want out of this is surprises. I never really enjoyed the other Marvel uh, Ultimate Alliance games too much. Weirdly enough, in this type of genre, Shrek 2 was better. It's honestly kind of weird nowadays to see the X-Men characters alongside the Avengers sort of like Marvel characters. It's just been so long. Interesting that Nintendo got it as a Switch exclusive. I wonder if they'll have the a cameo, like the Lincoln Samus thing planned. Wow, those, that rumour list was really, really sodding accurate. Happy to see HAL Laboratory uh, working on other games aside from, you know, Kirby. Although, of course, I do love my Kirby games. Oh, brand new. I was expecting a tri I was expecting a trilogy port. That would uh, honestly make the game feel a lot more appealing to me. I'm not super huge on puzzle games on my own, aside from puzzle league, say. Oh, oh? no, this is interesting. I kind of forget that it was released on the Switch because it just doesn't. It's such a game. It's a game so perfectly suited for the Wii U that I just don't feel it right to have it on the Switch in a sense. Maybe that's just my love of the Wii U going on. I like this game. Not super huge fan of it because it's not my type of thing typically, but it was a lot of fun. You know, fun for something that's not usually my sort of thing. Must see you get more support in, for the future. Though again, still really weird having it on Switch. You know, for games so well tied to the Wii U's ability. March twenty fourth. Okay, that's this release. Oh, nice to see this. Oh, if I get this, I'll probably get it on Xbox One though. It's my preference for the control NBA options. Love the style to it all. Not being a big fan of Castlevania games outside of the 3D ones, so... But I might consider this one. Love her design. Miriam's got a great design. Shame it didn't come out in Wii U in time. I do! <laughs> That's cute. Um... Yeah. I do like the, um... Uh, what was it, was it, was it, uh, I, d I do hope that the audio has actually recorded, uh, <laughs> otherwise it's going to be really awkward, you'll hear my voice but nothing much else, which that, Pokemon, no, Fire Emblem, no, there's Dragon Quest, tempted to get this, it is very tempting, whilst I'm sort of, uh, tempted by it, I'm going to try out this tea, it already feels cool enough, I'm trying it in my non tender cup tea, Oh, and it just froze on me. Uh, so, time to try out this Cranberry Vanilla Delight Tea. It's weird than I imagined. Also, this video keeps freezing up on me. I was really worried because it smelt so much more of cocoa than cranberry or vanilla. But, oh gosh, this is nice and sweet. The cranberry is delicious. Definitely a very berry sort of tea. Except it's not very berry, it's Cranberry Vanilla Delight. Vanilla actually gets drowned out a bit, frankly. I'm, I'm having this with no milk. Four, four minutes, no milk. 
The player has the power to choose on the fly. Really nice. Um, HD vistas and the 2D I think I prefer some of the other berry teas I've had before, like the black berry, black currants of tea I've got. First version of the game with fully orchestrated field and battle tune. Mm. But otherwise, really nice tea. A really nice berry sort of tea. Definitely a good one for people who like fruity teas. You can also experience the journey with English or Japanese audio. Oh, neat. So, Cranberry Vanilla Delight definitely has my approval. And this game, Tempted, it's high up on my list of games I'm considering. But I think it'll also depend about what else comes out this year. Because I've already. There's a lot of games uh, that are uh, tickling my fancy, as it were. This is terrifying! Why? Disney Toys took the world by storm. Ah! Now, they're ready for an after hours party at the toy store in ah! the festival. I I have not seen they are horrifying to begin with, but this is just This is nightmares come true. What? We live in a disturbing timeline. This is a thing that exists. Also, lo loving the side of the Leo and Stitch stuff though. That was nice. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'd say Lilo and Stitch is my favourite Disney movie. Mulan would probably be second. Oh, neat! Updates to that, that's really cool. It's far from friendly. In fact, it's none other than... Oh! Further Star Fox ambassion... Uh, look, further Star Fox uh, inclusion. Really <laughs> cool! Really nice to see Star Fox being given so much love. Oh, cool, you get to play as all of them. Go, Slippy, go! Oh, maybe that's what they were rumouring about the uh, racing Star Fox F-Series or thing. But yeah, that looks really cool. Again, yeah, it's not a rail shooter, so it's not got quite my interest. Root! <laughs> This root factory! Oh my gosh! It lives! Grow vegetables and fruits at the farm. It lives! I oh, can even play this film again. Oh my gosh! The the company who made this died. Like they went through bankruptcy. Oh my gosh! That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Ruff's gonna go nuts over that. You may become more than just friends. Of course. <laughs> I really love you, I'm just kidding. Wow. Raf is a huge fan of the Rune Factory game, so he's going to love hearing about this. What? <gasps> How? The company died! Oh my gosh, that's a, that's a, that's the best announcement so far. You okay, you've caught my interest. ...from the developers of I Am Setsuna and Lost Sphere. Into a realm built upon the tenets of I need to get around to finishing I'm Setsuna at some point. I mean, I prefer turn-based RPGs, but I think I'm, I've been getting a nice uh, influx of turn-based RPGs as of late. So, going back to having some action RPGs again, I, I wouldn't mind too much. Too much, because there was a long time where there was an absence of turn-based RPGs on consoles. Well, unless you own the Sony system, only Naki. Okay, I'll go keep an eye on that. Darn, there are so many good games releasing this, this year. I normally would be excited for this game, but I didn't I didn't find Yoshizuli World that enjoyable. Never quite gripped me. It's a shame because I really liked I loved Yoshi's Island and Yoshi's Story. And me and Rafi were really looking forward to Yoshi's Uli World. Rafi in particular really was hoping looking forward to Yoshi's World, that's why I got it for him. But I never did uh quite grip us. I'm glad that he's got a more unique style to him. Ah, oh, that's a nice throwback. They're really taking advantage of the craft mechanic. I do feel that the uh, setting of the Wooly World uh, has certainly helped better differentiate the Yoshi universe more from the Mario universe. Oh, she's adorable. She is super adorable. I don't know. I think ever since deciding Nanka should have... I think ever since deciding Nanka should have green hair, I've just... Kind of appreciate green haired characters more. Yeah, Nanka used to be a brunette in her design. But when I tried to make her different from her inspiration, I gave her green hair. Fascinating lore here. I'm terrible at SRPGs, so I'm not going to get this game. But I've got friends who really like this series. Um, so I really hope it's good for them. I just hope they don't try to promote this game by throwing yet another character in... Uh, <laughs> throwing yet another character in Smash Bros. I'm not a fan of the... 
choose your character. I'm not a fan of the choose your character system. Uh, I prefer established characters. Oh wow, they're really making this very anime, aren't they? I mean, you're working in a school now. Yeah, super anime. Ah, Edelgard, the one that everyone's been considering if they add a Smash Bros. character. because I guess because she is the only one who stood out for people. This house is for students from his kingdom. The golden deer is for students from the Lester. Perhaps that she's the only female of the trio as well. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of choose your characters in a lot of games. Which is weird because I based the Nanka's me vs. adventure of being able to establish the main character as Nanka. Yeah, this is super anime now. I mean, it's got a more realistic art style to it. More sort of old school Fire Emblem, but... I was going to say in a sort of, the mon yeah, monastery, sure, you mean a school. <laughs> Even with uniforms. Nope, oh, yeah, relationships, of course. <laughs> Can't be about that. It's family, no, it's mostly a dating sim nowadays. Oh, well, little later than I was expecting, I was expecting a Ma uh, May release, but hey-ho. I oh, need a little special edition, sound selection, USB yeah. stick. And like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the direction with the choose your protagonist. I mean, I'm not even a play at someone who plays the series, but I'm not a fan of the direction of having the main character be a choose your character, a create your character sort of thing. I think it'd be far better. I think it's far better story wise and series wise to have a defined protagonist. Oh, but a message from Damon X Rakanet people? Huh. Again, slightly keeping an eye out. I don't think. I don't think this will grab my interest entirely, but uh, I, I may give it a fair chance in listening out for it. it I love the st uh, I love the look of it, uh, you know, art style wise. But big mecha robot games probably not going to be my cup of tea. It's weird because Tengen Topo Gurren Lagann is one of my favorite animes of all time, and I'm not yeah I'm not a huge fan of mecha. Uh, oh, summer? Yeah, I kind of expected that release date. New Nintendo IP seem to have that as a tendency. No fan of the gameplay style, I thought it seemed a bit stiff in terms of the looks, and the gore is excessive. Bit of a uh, tonal shift here. <laughs> Never did get Unravel 1, but I love the look of it. Puzzle platforms aren't usually my thing, but then again, I love Nihilumbra, so it, sometimes there will always be that exception. Yeah, the rumours were dead on with a lot of this stuff. Okay, March 23th. Okay, so it's not the Final Fantasy IX announcement. Oh! Yeah! Now, should I get on Switch or Xbox One? Not sure. Hmm, wondering. Oh, man, Final Fantasy IX. Oh, Switch or Xbox One? Is it on the Xbox One yet? I know it's coming to it as well, but... Oh. I prefer how it feels on it, but... Oh, wow. This looks neat. Whoa! What on earth is this? Okay, super cool looking. I really like the art style too. Characters look nice. Definitely not. Neat little action game. Oh, wow. Oh, I like the trapping mechanic. That's pretty cool. Is it co-op or just single player? Something awesome looking, though. Wow. Okay, yeah, you've got my interest here. <coughs> Just go ahead and give us a name. If that leads to this game, then I'm quite okay with Damnation, then. <laughs> you think he can make it? Well, new Platinum Games game, then? Yeah. I wasn't a huge fan of Bayonetta 1, but I enjoyed the Bayonetta 2 demo. Astral Chain, was that? A fave, fave? Yeah. I'll keep an eye on it. One of One of One was an absolute blast, though. Um, Bayonetta 1, not a huge fan of. I felt, but Bayonetta 2's demo felt a lot better. But yeah, ooh, Astral Chain. Yes, that's because there were two characters fighting together. Lots of water. Oh no, Sushi Strikers 2, maybe? <laughs> I got mine on 3DS. I need to play that a bit more. Oh, well, yeah. Unfortunately, my 3DS broke. That makes it kind of hard to play more Sushi Strikers. Oh! Link's Awakening Remake? Yeah, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. That is definitely Link's Awakening. Oh? 
Oh my gosh, those rumors were dead on. They were expecting a 2D Zelda game. Well, top-down Zelda game. Oh! Not a huge fan of the art style. I mean, you had all this opportunity, uh, this uh, power, and that's what you go with the clay look? Oh no, the link, Chibi Link is adorable. Oh, Malone's really adorable too. Was it Malone? Marin? Marin? Marin. Yeah, Marin. Yeah, I love the 2D section back then. Definitely can't think the mistake the Gumbas for anything else now. Oh, Curious would be a big fan of this. Um, may consider Curious might want it. He was a big fan of the handheld Zelda games. He, he earned a lot of them, so. Raffi really loved the Minish Cap. Raffi, also, he's also one worth considering for it. Because he's a big fan of the top down Zelda games. I mean, Four Swords Adventure is his favourite Zelda game, so. Interesting direct. I'll, um. Had to give a bit of thought as to which game I'd say was my favourite announcement of that thing. It was interesting. There's a lot that intrigues me. Not anything that I'd say is not anything that I'd put on a wish list. But kind of what I kind of wanted was more things to surprise and interest me because there wasn't anything I was particularly looking forward to. So I guess I'd say that Direct has done that to a good degree. Um, there are certainly more games than that I'm considering now than I went in than I had before watching the Direct. So. This, it also has uh, done a pretty good job of uh, putting out some games I can consider for birthday and Christmas presents this year. Uh, so that's also pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, throw up on screen maybe quickly uh, what game probably grabs my interest the most. Mm, Astral Chain definitely, definitely looks good. So maybe that, but we'll see. We'll see. I'll have a look through as I edit this video. And uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this tea time. I've enjoyed my Cranberry Vanilla Delight tea. I've enjoyed watching this Nintendo Direct. And I really hope all this audio has uh, recorded well. Uh, please share your thoughts as what you thought about the Nintendo Direct below. And what you thought of my uh, tea time. And cheerio!